Hello and welcome to my channel where I do guides for post-processing software. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe if you like my videos and uh, click that like button. Anyway, we are inside of Luminar AI, uh, the new product from Skylum. It was released, I think, uh, about 16th of December. And uh, we are going to try and fix this image. This image is nothing special, so uh, <laughs> I guess we're going to push Luminar AI to see what we can do about this image to make it more interesting. Uh, it was shot just a few days ago and it's a really hazy image and it's uh, overcast and every kind of bad situation there could be. <laughs> Uh, let's just start from the templates. It's uh, suggesting scenery, so we can go in there and just uh, click on a few of the templates to see if we can find any good ones. Fast fix. No, I don't like it because it does things to the water I really don't like. Pleasing touch. Yeah, it's kind of good. More volume. Okay, so that's with a sky replacement and it replaces the water as if it was a sky. Now let's do simple. Let's try clear skies. I didn't really like any of those templates. Let's go and try some of the landscape templates instead. Uh, easy landscape. Long exposure. Sunset. Clean light. First stream and snowfall yeah i think that's the best one for now and let's just use that as a starting point i'm going to go into composition ai and as you can see the image is leaning kind of to the left so let's try and see if composition ai actually straighten the image no it's just doing a crop two by three i guess yeah two by three so let's try and straighten it ourselves here. That's too much, I guess. It's the angle also that makes it look uh, kind of uh, leaning to the left. Yeah, I guess that's fine for now. We can always go back and straighten it. Okay, so let's go into light. I think maybe... I'm going to drop the black point just a bit there. I'm going to make sure to view the histogram. So click on the menu and go to view and then histogram all the way in the bottom there. As you can see, there's almost no, nothing in the shadows or the black. And the same with the highlights. So we have uh, something to go for here. I'm just gonna click the J key to make sure to show the clipping. And I'm just going to drop the black and create a black point. Yeah, that's a lot actually. Yeah, let's stop there for now. Let's go up on the whites. We also have the enhance AI that could help a lot. Okay, so I'm going to drop the highlights just a bit here. I'm kind of happy about that. Let's go into enhance AI and we're going to try and uh, up the accent the AI yeah to somewhere around there uh, the structure AI would be good for this image but I want to paint it in instead so just going up a bit to something like this maybe and let's start painting it in so just going down a little bit on the softness and a little bit on the radius and i want to paint that in on the building and on the sides of this uh, waterfall so i'm just starting to paint that in i want to make sure that the opacity is at 100 and let's just start to paint that in And I don't want to paint structure into the trees here because that's going to create uh, what I call noise. So not pixel noise, but just noise because there's too much details. I'm just going to decrease the size of the brush. And I'm 
going to paint in on the chimney up to something like that. And also on the sides here. Yeah, something like this. Let's go to color. I'm going to up the vibrance. Let's go into the HSL. And I'm just gonna do some saturation on the reds. And maybe even the orange. And the greens. Maybe even the blues. So this template did really desaturate a lot here. Uh, I'm not really a fan of what it's doing to the water, so I'm going to paint this adjustment out. So I'm just brushing out on the water. Yeah, something like that. That's good. And I'm just going up slightly on the saturation as well. That's fine. And let's go into the landscape module. I'm going to dehaze this image even more, I think. Yeah. And just a little bit of golden hour. To around there and I'm going to paint that effect out of the water as well but maybe not all of it so I'm adjusting the opacity to around 75 I'm just gonna try that first I could have copied the other mask but since I'm uh, painting out with the, the opacity set at 75 and that wouldn't be good because that would be at a hundred and I think that's fine. Let's go into creative and the sky and we are going to replace this uh, sky. So just for sky selection, I think I would like to use uh, a blue sky. Uh, not this one. Yeah, this one would be okay, I guess. And let's uh, paint the sky out of the water. So it's not perfect, this uh, sky replacement thing. It's kind of believing that the water is sky as well. I didn't like that sky, to be honest. Yeah, this one is a bit better, I guess. So I'm going into the mask and I'm just going to paint it out from the water. So I'm just doing some general strokes. Yeah, something like that. And I'm just going to go in and defocus the sky just a bit. That makes it a bit uh, softer. And I'm going up on the sky exposure even more. Yeah, something like that, maybe. Just add some temp to it. Just relight the scene. Yeah, I think it's okay. Maybe defocus just a bit more. That's creating a really puffy sky. <laughs> Let's see, what if I do like this or maybe even like this yeah I, I like that that's okay um that's it for the sky for now let's go to mystical and see if we can do something exciting there Well, it really softens the water, but maybe it softens it too much. 
No, I kind of like it. I'm just going to paint it out from the water. Just to see how that looks. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I'm leaving it off for now. Let's go into the glow and I'm just going to do a little bit on the amount there. Uh, maybe that's too much actually. Something like this. I can see that now we are starting to clip in the sky. So we can go back and fix that. Let's go to the pro module. And I'm going into super contrast and I'm just going to try with highlight co contrast. Yeah, it kind of looks good. Let's uh, try the shadow. Yeah, I, I like that. Color harmony and I'm going straight to the color contrast. And I'm just going to try and up the amount there. And I... I actually like that. Something like this, maybe. And there's nothing more I want to do inside here, I think. So let's just check the brilliance. I want it to be around there. Now let's go back into essentials and color. And I'm going to desaturate the blue sky. And I'm going under saturation and I'm going to drop the blue. It's a far too much blue in the skies from the sky selection thing. Drop the sign as well. And go into luminosity. And I'm going to up the cyan and up the blue. And I kind of think that it's far too blue still here. So... Let's go into saturation and drop the blue even more. Yeah, that's fine. Now we can go and activate the vignette. And I'm going down on the amount. And I'm going to go up on the inner light. Yeah, I think uh, we're starting to get there actually. I'm going to drop the highlights just a bit more. Yeah, and drop the whites just to get the clipping to go away. Yeah, I guess that's okay. Now I'm going into local adjustment or local masking. I'm going to add a basic and I kind of want to make this just a bit brighter. Not much, but just a bit. Uh, let's decrease the size just slightly and let's go up on the shadows just a little bit there i actually think that's going to be enough so i'm just going to start and paint that into this building and let's drop the radius and drop it again and the softness let's go down and i'm going to try and paint it in on this as well so i'm not going to paint a perfect mask now i'm just doing a demonstration so but if this was for me or if i wanted to print it or hang it on the wall i would uh, make the mask perfect just going to increase the white balance on the warmer tones i think this is starting to look okay right now let's go up just a bit on the shadows as well and maybe some on exposure yeah i think it's fine around there actually uh, let's disable the clipping warning just hit the J key on your keyboard. Yeah, it looks kind of interesting. 
uh, I still think it's too much blue in the sky there. So I'm going to indulge even more on the saturation on the blue. It's too, too much blue there. I should have used one of my own skies, but yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'm just going to adjust uh, the crop as well. Oops, that's a bit too much. <laughs> I think something like this. There we are. Just do some more in the light there. Let's check the before. And this is the after. So, <laughs> apparently we, we can really do a lot inside of Luminar AI. We can actually make a really dull image into something more interesting. And I actually do think this is kind of uh, nice. It's not bad to be honest considering how overcast it was that day uh, I think this really is a nice transformation from this really dull image uh, you can just see how moist it was and go from that to this that's really amazing so to me this image is totally transformed and I, I, I really like it <laughs> Just to be honest, it's impressive how much you can do, how much of a transformation you can do inside of Luminar AI. Okay, so that's it for this video. Uh, if you want to, you can watch my other Luminar AI videos. Uh, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you want to watch more from me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Again, thanks a lot for watching and I hope to see you again. Goodbye.